thank you for joining me for this very interesting video. I am Mr. Rish. I hope everyone's doing well. I got asked a hypothetical question by a viewer. Hypothetically, if that Euler's constant, you know E, were equal to a rational number, that is, it had repeating decimals, 2.71828, and it just kept repeating, how can you express this in terms of a fraction? I will show you how you would do it. How can you develop this fraction such that if you divide them, you'd get this output. You'd have to think here in terms of a series. You have here a beginning part 2.7, we'll put that aside. Then you're looking at everything else which follows, which would be a repeating pattern by means of series. Look, I have 1828 divided by, starting from this decimal place, I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places away, 10 to the power of 5 plus. Look over here, I have 1828, starting from this decimal, I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 decimal places. And then if we were repeating this, the next one would be 1828, but 10 to the 13 decimal places away from that initial decimal. Now look, this would be a repeating pattern. And everything here would be in terms of an infinite geometric series having a common ratio. A, your first term divided by 1 minus common ratio, a formula of infinite geometric series. This here would be my A value, my first term. We will do something with this, but at the end, how would we determine our common ratio? Your common ratio would be any term divided by the term right before. If I pick this term, I would do 1828 divided by 10 to the power of 9 divided by the term right before 1828 over 10 to the power of 5. And you can flip things around. I had 1828 divided by 10 to the power of 9 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 1828. I'd have a common ratio here which would develop. It would be 1 divided by 10 to the power of 4. That would be my common ratio, 1 divided by 10 to the power of 4. So that part is done. What we need to do is run this formula through. Everything would play out like this. 2.7 plus that formula A over 1 minus R. This part right here, when you start plugging in the items, you'd have this, your first term, 1, 8, 2, 8. This is my first term because it's the first term of a repeating sequence, divided by 10 to the power of 5, divided by 1 minus my common ratio, 1 divided by 10 to the power of 4. Look here only in the denominator. I have 1 over 1 minus 1 over 10 to the 4, which would be 10 to the 4 minus 1 divided by 10 to the 4. You know what that would be, 9,999 divided by 10,000. Let's bring it into play. It would be 9,999 divided by 10,000, which is 10 to the power of 4. You can flip this part and just deal with it. 1828 divided by 10 to the power of 5 times 10 to the power of 4 divided by 9,999. This cancels out with this, you'll have 10. This 10 can multiply with this, I'll have 1,828 divided by 99,990. All of this part will now add to this. I'll have 2.7, which you will write now in terms of fractions. What's 2.7? It's 27 divided by 10 plus this, 1828 divided by 99,990. You do this fraction over here, you'll get your answer A or B. We have a common denominator, it's this, 99,990. 10 goes in this, I'm gonna get from here, 269,973 plus. This goes in the common denominator one times, 1828. What's our end result? Let's add them up. 269,973 plus 1828, which is right here in my repeating part. I'm getting here in the numerator, 271,801. 271,801 divided by 99,990. Here is my rational fraction, which will give me that. And we will test it out and I'll show it to you. 271,801 divided by 99,990. And look what we get, 2.7, 1828, 1828, 1828 repeating and we're done and it's good. Everything here coming from the concept of infinite geometric series for the part that's repeating from right here onward. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.